Thanks for checking out the Passive Geek Show. It's tech news for the Passive Geek. If you use Android, first of all, good choice. But since Apple released their new iOS 11, these are the top six features in the new iOS for the iPhone. These are not ranked, but they're all pretty cool. Number six, you can set your iPhone for emergency SOS. In settings, scroll down to emergency SOS, turn it on, and when you do, you'll get an option for a countdown sound to call emergency services. But if it's an emergency, you may think the heck with the countdown, just make the damn call. I'm just saying. You can also add an emergency contact in the health app or by clicking here. Number five, you can use your camera to scan QR codes using your camera. You don't need a dedicated QR scanning app anymore. Number four, scan documents using the notes app. Open your notes app and click the plus icon. You get options. Scan a document. Take a photo or video or get into your photo library or add a sketch. Number three, iMessage has a couple of new effects. One will spotlight your text. The other will echo your message by sending out a bunch of tiny versions of your messages. Cool features if you're trying to make a point, but you could make a better point by just calling. Remember when phones just did that? Number two, there's a do not disturb feature that will mute text, calls, and notifications while you're driving. You'll get the option to turn it on at the beginning when you first update the iOS 11. You can set it up in settings too. After you do that, there are all kinds of options. You can even allow calls from certain people and all others will get muted. And number one, you can record your screen. Now you can do this for all kinds of reasons, maybe to show someone how to do something on the phone or demonstrate how an app works or really anything you can think of. Those are my top six new features of iOS 11 for the iPhone. If you're really excited about a feature, leave a comment. If there's a feature you like that I didn't cover, share that with me too down below. iOS 11 for the iPhone has a lot of new features, more than I covered here. And iOS 11 for the iPad, pretty cool. I'll link you to a video here that shows you all that. Liking and subscribing and sharing this video is appreciated. You can level up your support too for just 99 cents a month by being a patron of mine on Patreon.com. I can do 99 cents a month. My man. The link is in the show notes. Thanks for checking out the Passive Geek Show. It's tech news that's not too techy. I'm Tony Scott.